What's up, guys? Back again with my review of the season six premiere, episode one of The Walking Dead, entitled First Time Again. Alright, guys, wow. Wow is all I can really say about this episode. It was an amazing, amazing premiere. I don't know how they can keep topping themselves every year, but they do. It's just, it's insane. You know, what, they like seven, six, seven thousand walkers in this one, you know? It's nuts mind blown poof, you know but anyways yeah i thought when re reviewing the episode i thought it was really cool how they kind of set up the whole season you know what i mean like you know at the end with the horn going off john now the walkers are heading back towards alexandria you know like that and if, if i would put money on that that that's going to be the wolves that's doing that and they're probably in alexandria and you know just throwing her monkey wrench in the plan uh of, of Rick and gang but yeah really amazing episode uh, I really like how they did the the back and forth with the flashbacks being in black and white showing the right after the time when Morgan got there and you know Rick you know their their interaction where he had Morgan in the house and for a couple of days you know just to just to be safe you know you know like I said first time again they meeting again so you know, just one of the, you know, Rick's in a different spot, place than they were before. Morgan's in a different place. But then, you know, then the, towards the end of, you know, the, of the flashbacks, you could see where everything was cool. You know, he was holding Judith and, you know, Rick offered him to, to stay in the house with them and everything. So, also very interesting that Rick and Daryl kind of disagreed on something, you know. Rick said, you know, he thought they didn't need to go out on runs anymore to find new people and, and like re recruit people and Daryl disagreed and you know he th says you know b better more people good people are only going to help the cause you know so but yeah I really loved how they set up the rest of the season you know it's just like I said it's going to be the wolves and then you know the no way out story arc's going to happen and Alexandria is going to get overrun by the, the by the herd and you know, it's just gonna, it's gonna be, I think, you know, act pretty action packed the next handful of episodes, probably all the way to mid season premiere. It's just or mid season finale. It's just gonna be, it's gonna be pretty balls to the wall. It looks like. And, and oh yeah, <laughs> I can't forget Mr. Papa Giorgio, <laughs> Ethan Embry playing Carter, the big douchebag. We could tell from the beginning that he was probably not gonna last too long, questioning Rick and and you know. And he knew it wasn't gonna it wasn't gonna last long for him. He was just bound to get himself killed or was gonna get killed, you know, questioning Rick on, you know, the plan and everything. And uh I just thought it was hilarious Eugene in this episode, the little the little one liners he had, you know, talking to Heath about, you know, uh uh, big ups to the hair game and, and whatnot. It was really funny stuff with Eugene. And then like when he overheard Carter telling the couple of the other people about, you know, the plan though, we should just kill Rick. And, you know, he, he fell over and then just his response, hello, you know, <laughs> it was just, it was just really, really funny to see a very funny part. And I, I, whenever Rick came in after that happened and uh, busted through the door, I about jumped out of my seat. I was like, oh yeah, that mother, that mother effort's going to get it now. But of course, you know, Daryl talked him down and, you know, said, Rick, you know, don't need to do this now, you know. And, of course, Rick's like, I'm good. You know, like he said, he explained to Morgan in the flashback, people like that are going to end up getting themselves killed at some point anyways, which did happen at the end. Carter got bit and Rick had to, Rick had to put him down. So... Yeah, anyways, I thought it was a really good setup for the rest of the season. I can't wait to see what happens next week. Who the hell is blowing the damn horn? But yeah, just mind blown. And like I said, once again, this episode was just so amazing how they just did the back and forth from the flashbacks. And like I said, everything just flowed so, so well with it. But anyways, I appreciate you guys checking out this review. And I will be back next week for episode two. Y'all be good, and if y'all like this review, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more Walking Dead content, give me a subscribe, and y'all have a great day. I will holler at y'all soon. Welcome to Windburn. <laughs>